everybody how is everyone doing today welcome and welcome back to our channel this is tim Laya and mom channel if you are new please take a seat relax and enjoy and to all of our returning subscribers you all have a place in my heart guys this is another video i just want to bring you some quick recipe i have another earlier and like it was busy but now i think i'm relaxed i just need to show you how i do a um, few things in this video you'll be seeing um mosa recipe you'll be seeing um corn dog recipe and what again okay let me just go ahead some of the stuff you've seen before okay in this video as well you'll be seeing me how i roll my spring roll and samosa i don't know if i'm going to like put all of them in one video but if you are seeing this video please is it that you try and look for the part two or maybe you look for the part one because i'm going to use this intro to like if i'm if i'm going to divide it i'm going to use the same intro so is it that you're looking for the part one or the part two but hopefully i can upload like one video instead of cutting it in two but then let's go let's go get this thing done you get hello everyone welcome to the table so before we start let me just say this um corn dog is something that all the spices you use is something you should be used to like your favorite spices you get the most important here is the corn dog um corn flour the all-purpose flour and the baking powder so you can decide you want to add sugar and you can decide you want it a whole meal like you don't want it to be like a snacky sugary stuff you can decide whatever you want to add but then you need salt to balance the taste so this is me i added one cup of um, flour and one cup of corn flour so i was mixing it then i found out that the plate won't be enough for when i add water so i had to pass it on so what you want to do at this point is just to get the corn flour and the all-purpose flour well mixed huh? after which you are just going to add all your ingredients accordingly for this recipe or for um, the purpose of you wanting to know the exact uh, ingredients and measurements i use for mine i went ahead and added the, um, the measurement in the description box but here i am i'm just going to be adding everything all dry ingredients in the flour mix so i'm just going to add every single thing i've added um white pepper now i'm adding the cayenne pepper yeah i have cayenne pepper it comes in and they are just like the reddish uh, look and the um flavor that it gives this kind of snack okay so i'm adding i'm going to add um what it, uh, salt please check the description for all of the uh, measurements so i'm adding salt there is baking powder and this i'm adding now is cinnamon you can decide to use nutmeg like i said it all depends on you and what you have in your kitchen you don't need to actually go and buy stuff just because you want to make this the major thing you need is the baking powder cornstarch and regular flour just so you get it right okay so i went ahead and added the baking powder i add uh, sugar yeah you need I, I add sugar for mine because it's for business like somebody place an order and it has to go with corn dogs so it's for business if it's for maybe temilayo i may not want to add um sugar because i don't really give her sugar much due to all the juice all the snack they eat in school so i added um let's say one tablespoon of sugar because i went with the one teaspoon and i added two so one tablespoon will be fine so what i did i'm i'm just going to uh i'm measuring water first i like i said i don't measure these things before but because of every one year i'm going the extra mile to like do all the measurements so you all can have it once at a time so um this is the water i'm going to introduce first which is one cup of water so i'm adding one cup of water at the end i later added um, a little more but let's mix us and you always see how it goes so this is one cup of water and it's still feel thick 
like you can actually use it um with this consistency but i don't really like when the when the dough like the fried um butter is too thick it feels like bread or something i don't know but I just like it light that you can easily feel the con the, the uh, sausage inside so people can easily use the use it like this but no no so i went ahead and i measured a quarter cup of water hoping we were going to use it but this little that i added was enough so i didn't end up using all all so i'm just going to mix until i get a smooth paste you want to mix so all those lumps will go away so i mixed um for some time yeah i'm just going to leave it so you see like um i'm not going to do too much of editing yeah i'm just going to allow you see everything so you can easily understand and when you're making yours you know okay you're in the right track you get so so you can see how thick it is like it's not very thick it's a little runny but it's still okay it's going to stick you get so this is it this is how i do it so this is the rest of the water that i didn't use so i i went ahead and uh, rinsed my sausages and the skewer i'll be using to hand for the ando so i'm just um putting it in the skewer I'm preparing it so when we get to the kitchen it won't be too much work so you just want to add everything in the skewer remember you have to like rinse it so it um the skin of the sausage will be like wet just so it can stick the butter can stick on it easily yeah so I'm just doing that um So now that I'm done, I'm just going to like turn everything in the cup, though I have more than enough. So you, have, you need a cup, like if you are making the full size of sausage, you will need a longer cup just so you can dip easily. But because I cut mine in two, I just went ahead and used this mini cup that I have. So you want to preheat your hair, like I've already done a set, I thought my phone was recording but it wasn't, I had to even bring out another sausage just so I can show you guys, seriously, I didn't need this much but I'm just going to eat it or give it out, so you just want to dip, I don't know if I'm, see my hands are even everywhere, I don't know if I'm even showing you guys very well, so you just want to dip actually, there's no way that as in there's no specific way to go about this you just deep roll like just make sure the butter is covering all part of the sausage then you dump it in your hot oil so my oil was too hot in the first one so at this point my uh, cooker was off so i'm just going to turn it on when i'm done putting everything in the pots so yes that's it so i had to do two sausage cut in half that's four because i've gotten everything i need but i just want to show you guys what i'm doing so this was when i noticed the phone wasn't recording in the first place this was the first batch that i did then voila look at what we got look at all i did look at the conduct showing itself look at everything looking all good and gorgeous thank you for watching yeah Go stop on a good set, but life is never gonna die.